your close up. Your close up. Hey? What you watching now, Ibises? Look at those ears. I swear they get bigger every day. Don't they? You're really cute, you know. Even though you're so bad. You're so bad. So, if you think that I can make him do something he doesn't want to do, forget it. Forget it. He does what he wants to do. Oh, and he fights with me. He dumps back to me. Remember when he was out here with his little pacifier in his mouth? And he had it sideways. What a little doll. You know, it's funny when you first get them and you're so worried about, well, that first six weeks, you just, like, hold your breath every day. You hold your breath. You, you never know what's going to happen. So many things can happen to them. Because we, we don't know a lot of times their history. We don't know if they were abandoned because they have something wrong with them or something's happened to their their mother. We have no idea unless we catch them. He was with his mother on Bob Wire, so we know what happened to her. But a lot of times we have no clue of of their history. So I had one and I think he passed away from internal bleeding, so because he was kicked. He was in surface paradise and these people were kicking him, so it's it's really sad sometimes, some of their stories, but, you know, we try to make their life as happy and as adventurous as we can. And like I said, I mean, this is, he has to hear these noises because this is gonna be his life. His life isn't gonna be watching TV reading a book, you know, that, that's not his life. His life is outside, rain. Uh, it's really funny when you put them out in the rain. They love the rain. But unfortunately, it hasn't rained very much here on the Gold Coast. It's the summer and it's hot, so we don't get very much rain. But definitely, if we get rain before before, um, oh, the last time it rained, it was just too heavy. It was really heavy rain, so that's why I didn't do them outside there. They lit, they watched it, but they didn't um, go out in it. So this is just him outside getting some sun, and we, we like to sit and talk, and, you know. And, and I know so many times I have to go over and over. They're not pets. Yes, bats like the sun, these guys do. They live in colonies, out in trees. And I know so many times it's so hard on the people that have been around for a long time because they have to hear it over and over again. Just think, I did, I've did done this for 10 years and I have to do, well, not YouTube, but I have had to explain to people for so long that bats don't always live in caves and they live in trees and stuff, so... So please, I know it's hard for you guys to have to hear it over and over again, but, you know, we, we need to educate these people. That's, that's why we're here. I mean, that's what it's all about. So just, just grit your teeth, and if I have to repeat myself 50 million times, just, just smile and know that we're educating somebody, and that's what we're all here to do. Okay? So love you all. Thank you so much. I love my little community of bat lovers. It's it's so funny because when I first got here to Australia and that, and, you know, like, liking bats and not knowing anyone who did, I felt very alone. So having a little community of bat-loving people is really a lovely thing, and especially when they love my babies because they're my babies. So have a great day and talk to you soon.